All right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. My name is Ryan. This video is going to be awful special. I'm going to drop you into my taxable brokerage account. We've just invested just shy of $50,000 into this recessed market. I'm going to go over the 14 stock picks uh, that I've been able to pick up uh, this previous week and the last week, looking to build out my joint brokerage account, over 700 shares purchased. So for you guys that have been with me for a long, long time, I'm going to go ahead and timestamp and jump you into that portfolio review. You guys are welcome to link into it and jump right to the action, the meat and potatoes if you'd like, uh, because I'm going to spend a few moments at the beginning of this video talking about something uh, that's happened within the investing community. So I'll give you guys a free moment. If you guys want to click down into the description and jump ahead to the portfolio review, um, that's really where the action is. If you guys want to jump ahead, you guys can, can get that uh, portfolio review going. So guys, something that's happened over the community, anybody who has uh, done the YouTube opportunity or tried to start a YouTube channel, know how difficult it is. It's really, really difficult. Anytime you get up to that, uh, that, that courage to start filming content and putting it online, sometimes it really just comes from an internal place. You know, there's a lot of people who start YouTube channels for, I guess, all the right reasons. They've got uh, delusions of grandeur and they, and they want to be the most popular thing out there. Uh, I think there's others who do it for other reasons. Um, I'm one of them. Uh, I don't do YouTube for a living at all. Uh, and I think a lot of people tune into my message because they do respect my opinion uh, as it comes to investing. This is something that I do every single day. It would be something that I would do without YouTube. Uh, but one of the members of the community who ran a YouTube channel got up to about 1,000 subscribers and had, had a really unfortunate uh, fall of uh, favor with YouTube and actually had to restart the channel over again, okay? He's a friend of the channel. He's been on my live stream a couple of times, always been very supportive of my mission, and uh, another military guy, and uh, never, ever leave a, a fallen shipmate behind, ever. The reason why this community is so important, guys, it's very, very important for us to have subscribers and channel content creators alike that are pushing out a message of awareness, okay? You guys might like the way I deliver the message, you might not, okay? But whatever it takes to get you internally motivated to invest and seek out some level of wealth building on your own, that is the goal. And this was definitely the goal of a channel, Focus Fire Investing. Jamie with the Focus Fire Investing had really gone through the trenches of building up an investment channel uh, up till about a thousand subscribers and, and just kind of had a, a, a fall of, of bad luck a little bit and uh, needs our support in the community. And I don't typically do this on my channel. I typically don't uh, ask for any level of support, uh, especially for me. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can. Um, but in this particular case, I'd hate to see somebody have to go through and manufacture getting up to that first thousand subscribers again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video and I'm going to leave it in a pinned comment within the comment section below. And if you guys would do me a small favor, it'd be to kick over and subscribe and help that subscriber base at least manufacture up to the first thousand. Now, Jamie's going to be on his own as far as winning you over, as far as the content that he puts through. I know how good it is, and I really wouldn't do this for anybody outside of our tight community. But I really think it's important that we recognize when somebody's down a little bit and trying to manufacture uh, what he had before and now is actually gone and having to go back and walk the same road, I think is a little bit unfair. So I think if we can... Uh, Provide some of that groundswell of support for Jamie on the um, Focus Fire Investor channel. I'm going to leave the link to the new channel uh, in the description as well as in the comments section. All I ask is a couple seconds. You kick over and hit the subscribe button for him, man. It'll help out a lot organically get some of that subscriber base back. 
And I fully expect you to do that. Why? Because I've asked you to do so. Uh, I'm not one of those folks that put out my message uh, we're trying to sell anybody or trying to put out a, a message where I'm trying to sell you any type of course material or any of that. I openly give that information free of charge. Why do I do that? It's because I feel like the majority, if not all, of the information that's available in the investing landscape is available free of charge on the internet. All, all we're really looking to do is provide awareness and point people in the right direction to do that. And this would be a small favor to me if you've ever enjoyed or put some of the material that I've put out there to work for yourself. It would be a personal favor of mine to actually kick over and help support Jamie, get some of those subscribers back and help him on his way uh, to providing great content for the community members uh, and new subscribers alike who may actually gravitate toward his message uh, and look to get involved in investing, whereas maybe they would have never got investing before, guys. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop back into the time stamped now on this video. Uh, if you're tuning in now to the time stamp, I'm gonna kick you into my Merrill portfolio. We've just dropped about $50,000 into the market here recently uh, to take advantage of some of this downturn that we've had recently, expand our portfolio out. So with that, guys, I will kick you into the account. Please enjoy the review. All right, guys, super cool. So welcome into this screenshot. This is going to walk you through the newest additions to the portfolio. Um, over 700 shares added into the uh, taxable brokerage account. This is the joint account that I own. And uh, this will be supplement to the two existing Roth IRA accounts that I have of a self-directed nature. You can see here I've done some buying and selling in here. We've rendered about 15000 of trading profit within this. Um, that'll be totally taxable. That'll be fine. Uh, we were able to leverage some of our cash, cash positions to not only take some strategic uh, buying opportunities and some real recessed stocks. You guys know that I, I did trade around the airlines and the cruise ships uh, there during the deep volatility. And uh, I took it upon myself to actually add uh, into this. This eventually down the line is going to be the biggest portfolio that I have or the largest account anyway. Uh, I do look at the Roths as being probably my most important accounts. I do individual reviews of those accounts. But for these purposes, I'm going to go over the 14 stocks that I've added here, explain a little bit uh, of a, the rationale or explanation uh, surrounding why I entered into the stock. And, and just to start here, we'll jump in. You can see here I've added the one full share of Amazon. So you guys know that I've, I'm use, using M1 Finance to enter into partial shares of, of these same four growth stocks, Amazon, Google, Facebook, and CRM Salesforce, okay? But I added a full share block positions in here. Eventually down the line, that M1 Finance position or that entire account will actually be closed and I will roll that over into this. So those partial shares as I dollar cost average and use the partial share capability in M1 Finance will eventually come home and supplement these whole share holdings in uh, the top four growth companies that I feel are buys right now, okay? Amazon, Facebook, Google, uh, and CRM, Salesforce. So you'll see those growth holdings added in here uh, as well as the real strategic goal in this joint account was to add some dividend growth into the portfolio. Uh, so you'll see that as we go down the list here. Next is Bank of America, nice round 100 share position in B of A. Uh, did very, very well, dividend above 3% now. So we're, we're happy to, to enter this. I've owned Bank of America multiple times uh, and uh, rendered a lot of profits from owning B of A and uh, didn't hold it on its downturn. I got kind of lucky with the entry here uh, as it did go sub 20 just for a, a brief moment. Obviously, that's not where I entered the position, um, but there was a really good buying entry into some of the financials there for a short amount of time. Goldman Sachs, 
Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, and of course the big ones that I already own with Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, uh, and Citigroup respectively. So you guys can see here the BlackRock position is not included in here, nor the Bristol Myers pick, but both really good entries uh, on those as trading positions. CRM I've already talked about, 25 share position there. Uh, so we'll be happy to run that back up. Uh, to, to the near 200 mark here. That was a really, really good entry on Salesforce. Uh, CVS also here entered a 50 share position into the brokerage account. Uh, nice dividend payer there. We own Walgreens Boots Alliance within the Roth. Uh, so I felt it a nice complimentary pick here, especially with its uh, newest merger uh, in uh, in eight in Aetna. So that was a good pickup there and merger there. So nice to see and have uh, another 3% yielder in here. Uh, next is a utility, Duke Energy. We've got a 50 share block. Uh, so over a 4% yielder in Duke. We decided to put some dividend strength into this portfolio. Facebook I've already talked about. Google we've already talked about. Uh, Honeywell is probably the number one industrial pickup right now, in my opinion. Added 30 shares here and right below it also in industrials. Really beefed up in industrials in this portfolio. I was able to get around 31 shares of uh, Raytheon uh, and um, uh, United Tech after their merger. Uh, so these are this is a supplementary holding in Raytheon Technology at 50 shares. Uh, realty income here on the REIT side of the house and Leggett and Platt. So uh, you can see here I added some really good industrials holdings. Uh, I could have kept it going with my buys there. Emerson Electric was also high on my list, but it just didn't make the buy here. Um, but you can see there the, the industrials really took a nice leg up. Uh, in here. Uh, don't sweat this too much. This position is actually settling out right now um, and um, that, that that's actually not a um, an accurate figure right there for the loss in o, uh, realty income. But uh, anything sub 60 is a good entry here in, in uh, realty. I'm not too concerned about that. And then Starbucks here, uh, probably the best pickup, honestly. If you got it in the 50s, good on you. You got a great entry on a great uh, great growth company back into growth and um, nice ability to add some discretionary into the portfolio. Southern Company, nice complement here to Duke. So we've got the two big ones. A um, couple other utilities I really like in the space, but Southern Company and Duke is what we opted for. That'll be fine to get that higher than average uh, uh, regulated utility dividend yield, which is what I was looking at long term. And then finally in the telecom to kind of kind of mirror the Disney position and Verizon position within the Roth IRAs, I figured that this uh, AT&T position at 100 shares uh, really fit nicely into the joint account. So that that's it, guys. That's the review. Those are the new uh, holdings that we added in here. Obviously, there's stuff here that really was high on my list. I did own Bristol Myers, just took some profit in it. So some other really good names here that I do f feel are buys as well. But this will be an attempt to build this account out and really make this the flagship account going forward. We'll continue to use this account, build it up over time. Uh, I won't be capped at all to how much I can uh, invest in this uh, down the line, which is very attractive to me. I kind of got caught a little bit not being able to aggressively fund the Roth IRAs as I wish I would have uh, during this downturn. But uh, nonetheless, we've got this and we're building it out uh, for the future. So really hope you guys enjoyed this review of the joint brokerage account. Uh, take its shape. We'll continue to review this portfolio as it grows over time. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I'll kick you back to YouTube at this time. Thank you. Rock on, guys. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this portfolio review. This is of the joint brokerage account. If you missed the small message at the beginning of the video and you just jumped ahead on the timestamp to get the portfolio review, I'd encourage you to kick back and watch the beginning. I, I did kind of a call for action uh, for the community. And if this is a, as loyal of a subscriber base as I think that it is, 
Um, I'd encourage you to go back and do a small favor for me. It won't cost you a dime, okay? Just a little bit of action and a little bit of time on your part uh, to kick in and subscribe to a channel now that needs our help. And I, I, I think I, I do put this on the community a little bit and, and as a little bit of a test uh, of loyalty. Uh, I, I really do think that um, when somebody needs help, uh, no matter how small or large, they should feel like they can reach out and say, hey, give, give me a hand here. Can you do this? And I, I just want to offer full disclosure. I'm doing this on my own. Um, I, I felt like it was the right thing to do, and uh, that's why we're doing it. And I thought it would be awesome to attach it to a portfolio review to give you guys the opportunity to get some good content and knowing what moves I'm making in the stock market right now in its current condition. Um, but I would ask you to, to duly uh, internalize, uh, accept, and consume the content, but also to kick back and acknowledge that link to kick over and, and provide that subscription support uh, like I ask of the community. So thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, if you're new to the Independent Investor Channel, man, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. We are building a loyal community of people who are not afraid to put this information to work for themselves, validate that this is the very best way to enter into the stock market, uh, teaching people how to build wealth on their own. Man, leave your comments at the bottom of this video and uh, share with anybody out there that you know Bring them into the community. There's a ton of channel creators. I'm just one of many voices trying to bring awareness to the investing opportunity. Guys, bring them into the channel. We'll take care of them. And I look forward to meeting all those new investors uh, that are probably ready to get going in the stock market. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. And good luck in your investment future.